Okay, as you can see, the engine on the Cub Kit 1170 is torn down. There was no mouse nest. There was um, no damage that I could find. The coil was not coming in contact with the flywheel. I pulled the flywheel off. The magnets are all still intact. And nothing has been coming in contact with the stator. But the engine is still very tight. So the next step I'm going to do is put this up on the mow lift. I'm going to get the PTO clutch removed and the drive removed. I'm going to see if the engine is still stuck. Also, if those were removed, it will give me uh, easier access to try and crank this engine over by hand. I don't have to worry about the um, drive trying to turn, stuff like that. It doesn't feel like it's grinding because I can actually turn it over fairly decent by hand now and with a ratchet. So it doesn't feel like anything's grinding in the top end. It doesn't really feel like anything's binding up and grinding in the bottom end. Nothing's knocking, stuff like that. So I'm thinking it's possibly in the drive. I really don't know. Will I tear this engine right down? Probably not. Um, all really depends on my time, my time and schedule. So probably not as of right now since I have other things to work on. I'll push this off to the side and work on something else before I tear this engine down. Uh, who knows, another engine might come, come about by then anyways, just in case. But as of right now, I'm just going to put it up on the mower lift. I'm going to spray it with PB Blaster just in the top end. So if there is a stock ring, which I don't think there is, it's going to help loosen it up. And then when I get a minute, I'll drop the PTO clutch off of it. But as of right now, this is done with for right now. I'm going to put the first cover back on it. I'm going to leave the top cover off, put the gas tank and everything all back in there, just to sit the hood in place and leave it, but leave it in a spot where I can easily get access to it and work on it. So that's what's happening with this. The wash didn't turn out too bad. A lot of paint did flake off. So if I do want to save this machine, which I'm leaning towards potentially doing so, I'm going to have to get some yellow spray paint and touch up all the bad spots which will be a bit of a job so anyways this is where i'm going to leave it only reason why i'm putting the one cover on so the oil dipstick tube won't fall off i don't want to piss off greta ha 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 so there we go so i'll talk to them later please keep it redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment